everybody, it's Sam of Exit Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little kind of carrier and inside it has these four boxes. So on the front it has these little dangles here that I've made, just some die cut stars and hearts and that's from a first edition little tag die set that I've got. Again I'll link all those bits. Then I've used these, which are actually photo frames. They're the Dovecraft hollow or no iridescent ones, but I use them for handles, and they've they work really well. But inside, when you open it like this, each of these boxes, can you guess what's in them first? Are you shouting at the screen now? I'm sure many of you will know. But inside each one is a Tunnix tea cake. <laughs> so this will fit four. You could shrink this down, have it with just two if you wanted to, but the good thing is these measure two and one eighth by two and one eighth, so you can fit loads of little treats in these. How great will this look at Christmas? You could have some earrings, a necklace, a little bracelet, some hair accessories. It's really, really fun. I've loved making this. It's so simple as well. It's just four boxes stuck with these side pieces. Like It really is that simple, but it all folds nicely back together. Look, you can see it there, it's got such a nice profile. It just looks, it's finished really well. I think it makes a super cute gift. It'll make lovely little favours. And then on the bottom, I have just covered it there as well. But yeah, how lovely is this? So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I've already prepared most of it because there's, yeah, you don't need to see me doing loads of boxes. So I've done three of the boxes. I'm gonna do one on camera. So for your boxes, you're going to need four pieces of six and three eighths of an inch by eight and three quarters. I'll score that one while we've got it here. So along the six and three eighths of an inch side, you want to score it two and one eighth of an inch, three and three quarters and five and seven eighths of an inch. Then rotate it and along the long side you're going to score again at two and one eighths of an inch, four and a quarter, six and three eighths of an inch and eight and a half. So you should be left with a little quarter of an inch piece here. Okay, so you need to do that four times and that's your boxes. Then to mat or to, to decorate your boxes for the top of the box, you want a piece that is two by two, and then I've just gone and fussy cut one of the images from the paper and stuck that on the top. The paper I'm using is this pad here, which is the Making Memories First Edition. Lovely pack. I've got the eight by eight and the 12 by 12, and again, I'll link that below because it's really pretty. So yeah, that was the top. Then you will need to make cut two pieces of pattern paper for each box because we're sticking them together like that, you don't see any of this inside, so you only need to decorate any two sides, okay? So those pieces there, you will need eight pieces that are two by one and a half, okay? And I've got mine there for my box. Then for the handle, so I've already done one side, you see I've decorated it all there, and I'm using these here, which are the iridescent photo frames, you can see the colour on them, they're brilliant. So I'll grab another one. Oh yeah, I've got one there. Okay, so again, I'll link all of those. And then for the actual side piece, you need a piece of cardstock that is literally just over four and a quarter. So it's not quite four and three eighths and it's not four and a quarter, it's just in between. So you're going into that sixteenth of an inch territory. But literally just pop it on your trimmer and just, you know, have it just overhanging slightly from four and a quarter. If you don't, and it is four and a quarter, it's not the end of the world. And that is by six and a half. Okay, so along the six and a half inch length, you want to score at half an inch, and you want to do that on both pieces because you need two of those. Okay, then you'll need four pieces of pattern paper to cover the outside and inside. Inside's optional, you might want to put something else in there, you might want to stamp something and write a little message. But you will need four pieces that are four and one eighth of an inch. Yeah by five and three quarters. Okay, two pieces. And then I've got a piece of card for the base and this is four and a quarter squared. So just the one piece there. All right, so get rid of the scoreboard. And first of all, we need to get the boxes done. So I'm gonna finish my fourth box. Obviously what I'm doing, you will need to do four times and just fold and burnish all of the score lines. 
Okay, so what you should have is the half inch piece on the top and this quarter inch piece on the right hand side. Okay, the left hand side will be plain along with the base. So with it in that orientation, these four squares are our base. So we just want to cut up each one to the first score line, like so. This last one you just want to remove and just kind of create a little wedge there. And then that one. And then this thin piece along this side you're going to remove completely. Okay, so we've just got that tiny little tab there and that's going to connect the box together. Then rotate the whole thing around so that little tab's now on the left hand side. And just cut down past the first score line down to the second. So you're cutting past this little half inch piece. Just do that on all of them. Okay. And that's what you will have. Now, if we start sticking it together, it'd be easier for you guys to kind of make sense of everything else. So I'm just going to grab some liquid glue. You don't have to use liquid glue. You can use double-sided tape if you want. You just want to pop it on there, fold it in half, and then fold the other half over, and everything should line up nicely. Make sure your score line's there, and just stick that down. Okay, so now when you pop it back out, you will have this, okay? So this, the part where you've got all these pieces here, that's the top, this is the bottom. And where you have sealed it, where did I just join it? There, so your join, you wanna have at the back. So here's my join here, what I just stuck down, okay? So then this here is the front, because my join's at the back. So this is the, the front. So I'm gonna pop the back one down first. This is my base. I'm just going to add some glue on there and then I'm going to stick in each of my sides and then finally the front one. Just means you've got a nice finish like so because that's going to be stuck. This is what you're going to see so it just means there's a nice finish with that kind of folded part there. Then you'll have this piece here, you want to remove that completely, this front one. So where we've just stuck that down, this very front one here. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you cut a different one because they're all exactly the same. But I'm just going to remove that completely. And then now these are going to be your side pieces, so you just want to cut about an inch off. So you've got the half inch tab and then another half inch. Again, you don't have to be exact, but just cut that away and then just cut little wedges away from these as well. Now you can do all of that and prep it before you put them together, but I just thought, because I'm working with white, if you put them together it's a bit easier to see what you're doing. Like so. And then the side bits will go in and then that will come down. And this little half inch, if you just take a tiny little piece off, don't take much, but just kind of a little wedge off of each side. It should all stay in. You want it to stay nice and wedged in, you don't want it popping out. Okay, so that's your box. Then you want to decorate, so you'll do that obviously four times. And then I'm going to stick that one on the top. And then I've got this piece here. Now, before you start decorating it, you want to make sure you get everything in the right kind of orientation. So once you've made the boxes, pop them all together like this with the opening facing out. So I've got my opening here and here on this side and then here and there on that side. So two open out that way and two open out that way because one of my handles is going to go on that side so you can open them here and you can open them there. Okay. I now know that I want to just pop my pattern paper on these two sides. So if you want now with them plain and white stick them together. Okay, like this. I'm just going to decorate this last one and then I'm going to stick all mine together. Okay, so that's mine ready there and then what I'm going to do is bring in my base piece as well. So what I will do is stick one at a time. So I'm going to add some glue on all of this and on my sides. So the sides that I haven't decorated, so it's easy to know which ones. Oh, that's a bit of a mess. And then stick that one down in the corner of that paper. And then grab this next one. 
glue on the bottom. I don't need to put glue on that side because there's glue on that one, so I'm going to just add some glue on this one here. Spending a minute there just to make sure that they stay stuck there together. And you see that I've just popped the other ones in so I can just hold everything together like so until that's all stuck down and it's all on that base piece. Okay, so now all of these boxes, if I can get into them properly, will open up like this. So I keep them open so you can see how we are. Okay, so that's them all opening like that. It's on these sides here that we're going to stick these, okay? So I'm going to run, I'm going to use this glue here because it just dries a little bit quicker, I think. And I'm going to just stick that right underneath and then I'm going to finish it with some decorative paper. I mean, you can put these on first and then put the base on if you wanted to, but I think it's just a bit easier doing it this way. But I'll probably, I've got some scrap pattern paper, so I'll use the same. So I'm just going to take my treats out just so I can inside and push that down. Because you've already scored it and burnished, and obviously I haven't stuck the other one down yet, so I'll show you where you stick all that in a minute. Just realised I jumped right into that one and haven't showed you the lid. So, um, the handle. So that's the handle there. You would have scored, you just want to fold and burnish that piece. Okay, and then just add your pattern paper. So I've got those two pieces there. Like I said, you'll have four, so you would have done all this at the same time. By the way, there's no reason why I'm chopping between the two glues, it's just because they were out on my desk, so I'm just picking up each one, but they both work the same. So that one on there, and then flip it over. Okay, and then with these handles, you just want to add a bit of glue on the bottom, although they're picture frames, but I like to use them for handles. And you just want to keep it as centred as possible and just line it up with the top of the pattern paper, like so. So I'm just going to let that all dry. Okay, and then again with this one now, just stick it on the opposite side to the other handle. So I'm just going to pop it in there. Again, I'm just taking the treats out so I can stick that down. Make sure it's all stuck down and then underneath you can see how it looks. A bit of glue off. It still looks nice. I mean, if you want to, I think I will. I'm going to quickly actually grab some pattern paper. So I've just cut a piece of four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm just going to stick that underneath. And there you have it. How cool is that? I love this. This is going to be such a good one for like Christmas and stuff. You can have all different gifts in there. Obviously, I've made this to fit Tonic's tea cakes because that's just my thing. <laughs> I love them. I think they make lovely little gifts. But yeah, and then you just pop that together. That handle's still just drying. Let me just stick that a little bit further there. And then there you can see when you hold it. How cute. I think I'm going to make a little keychain or something for it. Some little dangles. So it can definitely have something on there. But you can make a nice gift tag. I think that's what I might do actually. You'll see all that in the photos. But I love this. I love my holographic card. It's just awesome. And you can see it just around all of those bits there as well. So yeah, it's wicked. I think it's really easy to make and it's just going to be great for so many occasions. I think it'd make even nice little party favours. If you had, a, you know, just maybe your daughter or your son just had a few friends around. How cute's that for them to all take home? So anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you've liked it. I've really enjoyed this one. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.